Hey everybody, and thank you for watching. Now, if you haven't heard, supposed controversial figures Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate have been arrested again. Now, I need people to understand why this is important. Too many people are focusing on the wrong thing. Now, I have no idea what he did or didn't do, but the first time he was arrested, it was bogus and they let him out in 24 hours. It'll probably be the same thing now, but I don't know. But I want everybody to look past that because that's not the point of this video. I need people to understand why it is that all of this matters. Now, in this world, especially in the West, what has taken hold past capitalism is a gynocentric society. Now, the reason for this is because capitalism itself has made it to the point to where getting things, buying things, is like the most important thing because it so-called shows status. The problem is that when that happens, it becomes like the blob. It can't stop eating itself. So what has happened with capitalism is that it has overtaken the community's spending, primarily with the community's females. So because this has happened, the community's females have now become the persons who these corporations target. Now, I want you to pay attention to how this ties in. Corporations understand that money is king. So by them pointing their fingers to, via ads, the individuals who spend the money, who are the females, they believe they can make more money. Hence why 80% of the consumer debt is female and 80% of the spending is female. Here's the worst part about it. These same corporations, they actually are the individuals who are causing the problem with the government. See, everybody thinks that the government's the problem. The government is not the problem because the government is literally you. Think about it. You are the government. You can redress your grievances. You can vote people out in the whole nine. Here's where the mistake comes into play. Corporations, because of the laws, have actually bought the politicians for whom you vote. So because they bought those politicians, guess what they do? They try to make sure to protect their actual income. The corporations, their revenue, rather. And how do they protect that? They protect it by protecting the people who spend the money. And who are the people who spend the money? It's the females. 80% of the consumer debt, 80% of the spending. So now, take what's happening with that and understand why someone like Andrew Tate is being targeted. Why someone like Tristan Tate is being targeted. It's because... They're individuals who tell men to focus on making sure that they get hold of females via families so that the family itself can grow. That way, the family can teach the children in the family what it is that they need to do in order to be successful. But part of that is not spending frivolously. Well, if part of that is not spending frivolously, then guess what that means for corporate revenue? Guess what that means for the corporate bottom line? It means that it plummets. Yeah, the families get better, but that doesn't do any good for corporations. And that's their primary concern. See, individuals like TYGM Wright, Average Man Unplugged, Chantel Simone, Fresh and Fit, Chisha Zed, all of these individuals are people who are a problem to these corporations because these corporations care more about the amount of money they make than the society itself that they're supposed to be serving. Their actual shareholders matter more than the society that they're tearing down. And individuals like Andrew Tate, individuals like Tristan Tate are an actual problem to the system. See, this is what it is to which you need to pay attention. It's not necessarily about 
what it is they've been arrested. Again, I have no idea what it is or isn't. But one thing that we do know is that individuals like this who come out and help individual men understand that their role is to lead and they're helping to train females to become women who understand that their role is a help meet, those individuals get taken down by the system in whatever manner taken down may be. When you pay attention to that and you understand that that is what's going on, then you will see the diabolical nature of what it is that they're doing. It's not the government. It's the corporations who, because the Supreme Court said their people, own the politicians who run the government. And when they start having their bottom line affected, they're going to make sure whoever it is that's making that happen gets punished for it.